Hello everybody. Today I'm going to tell you what you can do to resolve the action item CPU request should be set. So on the right hand side we see here the uh, Fairwinds Insights UI and it says that CPU request should be set. It's going to give me a lot of information about what workload it needs to be set on uh, as well as a description and some links to documentation and then also an example of how we would set resource requests in our application. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I've defined this application. So I know that this is a stateful set named Argo CD Redis HA server in the namespace Argo CD and the container name is Redis. So if we look here on the left, we're going to see I'm connected to a Kubernetes cluster and we're also going to see that I'm in a manifest directory. It's an Argo CD manifest directory. Uh, it doesn't matter how you're applying your YAML, but somewhere YAML is going to get generated and that's what's going to define your object. Uh, and we actually see right here at the bottom that we have the stateful set Argo CD Redis HA server. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's going to define the stateful set Argo CD Redis HA server. Uh, and so I'm going to take a look at that YAML and I'm going to edit it. And we're going to go all the way down here to where containers are defined. And let's see, this first container name is Redis. Great. That's the one we're looking for because we said the container name here is Redis. And if we scroll down, we're going to see there is no resource block defined for this application. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is anywhere at this top level of the containers YAML, I'm going to add resources. And uh, real quick, I'm going to scroll down on the action item itself. And it's actually going to, we're going to look back at that uh, YAML block. I'm going to see resources and then requests. And I'm going to say CPU. Uh, you know, why not 250 M? Uh, but now I realize that maybe that's not quite the right place to start. Um, and so let's just take a quick look at the uh, actual resource requests or the actual resource usage in the Argo CD namespace. And I'm gonna search for Redis HA. And let's take a look at what the actual current CPU usage is. And we take a look and we see it's using less than 10 millicores. Uh, so maybe 250 is a little bit aggressive. So I'm gonna go back in here to my spec and I'm gonna go find that resources block with the requests. And I'm just gonna set that to 100 millicores. It's probably a little bit more than I need, but for now I wanna just make sure we've got plenty of space to run that thing. Um, and because it's a production service, I don't wanna mess it up too bad. So now I've added that resource block to my YAML. What I'm gonna do in this case is make a pull request and my GitOps controller is gonna apply it. But any way that you apply YAML to the cluster, go ahead and apply it. And we've resolved the action item, CPU requests should be set. And uh, that's it. Thanks y'all.